Oh my gosh. <laughs> what on earth? Husband Cheshire? <laughs> oh, this must be <laughs> a newer model. They have a radio built in. Oh my gosh. I'm not even gonna show. What? <laughs> Captain's log. Day 72. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back. We're here in this back in the vintage locker. Today's our last day here, so we're gonna be trying to get through all these boxes. We're gonna in this well in this video too, you'll see all the rest of the boxes and everything. We're gonna be getting these out so you can get a quick glimpse at it. Get a look at them at least, because there's some interesting larger pieces in here too. Well, why don't we get at it? So here, let's let's show them all this big stuff right here. Here's that big table. It's kind of a weird material. I don't know if it's got like a plastic coating on it. This looks like maybe it's another stifle lamp. There it is. Yeah, stifle. So why don't I? I'm gonna slide this out just a little bit. It's heavier than I thought. Maybe one hand wasn't the way to go. We got those weird chairs back there. We'll show oh the yeah, that is definitely to that set. These old vintage chairs. Yep. I don't know. What do you think? I mean. I could see somebody really wanting that, but can we sell it quick enough to, for us to be able to do it? I think it's going to be a curb alert. Did they see the stove? It was just a regular electric stove, a little bit older. These usually work, but I'm not sure because we've been real sick and we're kind of behind and clearing up space for everything. So uh, we're not. Sh I'm not sure what, exactly what we're going to do. Normally we'd test it out and sell it. I'm saying the hardware on there is adorable. Yeah, that's the thing for about some of this older furniture and stuff. Like if you look at it right, a lot of it is really, really cool looking. Like this, but I, it's another one that I feel like we- This is cute. Oh, Just it is? Cleaned up. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cause that was one I was gonna say to me at the moment right now, it looks really cool, but I was feeling like this was something we might have a hard time selling, but apparently I'm wrong. So I'm gonna put this on the floor. Let's just get a good look inside here and make sure because something, oh my gosh, there's that chest again. Oh, can't wait to get really, to that. Oh my gosh, can we just bust into that right now? I'll rip all these boxes down. Everything has to be out today. <laughs> kind of behind. <laughs> eh, we'll make it. Ready? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's always just... blankets. Oh, there might be an old wedding dress in there. No. What? No. no. Oh. Linen's tablecloth or something. Or I don't know. Actually, what I was really looking for was who made the bed, <laughs> who made the trunk. Are we sure? Look. Oh, holy smokes. That is. Oh, like a communion. Oh, this seems nice. Oh, if it looks okay. They'll we'll suffer good money as long as it's in good shape. Okay, we'll keep those in there. And then what's that, another? There's little... a tube down there in the bottom. You can clearly see it's very old. Actually, if we can read that, the postmark. Is that the stamp? Yeah. <laughs> Costs a lot to send one of these, one and a half cents. Wow. That must be quite old. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, I'm trying not to wreck it. Well, I'm guessing this is quite old. It's the bed spread. That is, be so cute in somebody's little cute spare bedroom. Oh, I didn't catch the na the the maker on this yet. On the trunk? Yeah. Flip it up this way in case it's down there. You can all see this. Oh, there it is. M. L. Swayze. That's Minden City, Michigan? Never heard of it. Yeah, I haven't either. Mind in, Mind in City or Minden? So cute. Wow. Yeah, this is, again, another amazing piece in here. Oh, was it cedar? Was it cedar inside? Oh, yeah. I didn't even pay attention. Yeah, oh, cedar. it is. Wow. Yeah. That was another really valuable piece. I don't know what we, I mean, it's a little easier said than done getting something like that sold for what, for top dollar. One more large piece. It Let's might see. be a stifle too. Floor ones are actually 
I think one of the most valuable ones. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off so I don't break anything while I'm trying to find. Actually, the shade looks like one too. This I can't quite read it. Let's see. Hopefully, it is. I don't see it on there. The other ones did still have the sticker. I'm not sure. It does say Xmas, Xmas. But you could get some money for these. This is some sort of a coffee table type thing. Oh, weird thing in here yet? All the glass is gone? Yeah, glass for like anything that had glass in it. I have yet to see any of the glass. Okay, so we're pulling out all those unopened boxes back here. And I came across this. It has wheels on it. And this is actually something very nice. I don't know if you can see on the bottom. Ethan Allen. So it's a really nice piece of vintage furniture right here. I don't know what we'll get for that for sure, but it definitely has some pretty decent value. I would say it's around 100 bucks or something at least. I, I mean, it should probably. Plant stand for 120. Yesterday, and somebody messaged me five minutes after I listed it. Yeah, I don't know. This is actually probably should be more, but it probably depends how patient how we can be. How much progress we've made. We're loading up for those. Are all kept them sealed, stacked them up, and we're getting them in the truck. We're going to put them away till we get all this stuff out of there. And then we'll well we'll see you any second now. Okay, we're back. We brought the whole stack here and set up a table. You can see there's an awful lot of it. That's a pretty darn tall stack. It's got to be over seven feet tall. So why don't we get into it? So we're going to start that first box. We've got an awful lot to get through. Oh, I see something interesting already. Mikasa relish tray. Sure is. That's cool. The box really helps too. We don't have too much trouble selling Mikasa. And Royal Siebenstern. Original Walter glass. That's another good one. That's not that's not gonna be hard to sell either. Uh, oh it's Tupperware. I don't know. He's a little washing though. That's Corningware. That's cute. Yeah, that is. Made in the USA too. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Somebody's going to buy that one. Oh, another Mikasa Florida footed bud face. Should we check and see if that, make sure that it's in there? The box is in pretty good shape too. Yep, there it is. Here, might as well see it, huh? Since we have it out. <laughs> wow! <that's laughs> oh, check that dang. out. That is cool. Wow. Oh, I like it. Yeah, that is. I don't know. I mean, it may be cooler Flashbacks. than. Flashbacks. <laughs> I don't think I've sold this this before, which means it's probably kind of uncommon. I don't know. I haven't seen one. Yeah, it might just be cooler than it is valuable, but it's cool. That's kind of a classic uh, candy jar. Oh, you know what? Oh, December one 4th. of our viewers' comments. Yeah, somebody mentioned it. Uh, and we normally do this. I, I look at, I, I had not thought of that yet in this locker, though. Um, December 4th, 2002. So, yeah. Thanks for mentioning that. <gasps> Strawberry shortcake. This one. Mine. <laughs> Unless it's worth, like, a lot of money, but what else? Yeah, it's mine. Yeah, it's hard to... <laughs> It is so hard to say because there's another one. I don't think I've ever found this before. Maybe we did a long time ago. Oh, that is so cute. Oh. Safety seal storage. Ooh. Bless this. Oh, that's a nice jar. Oh, made in Italy. I, I wonder if there was sets there. All right. A thousand more to go. Yeah. Are you telling me to get moving? You're probably no. right if you do. All right. Uh, just some actually have these homemade. Yeah, they're pretty really heavy just, We'll give them just a look of what's in here. We won't even take it out a bunch of pan made Christmas stuff okay. Those look familiar We had those when I was a kid or something Linen closet go ahead and put it up here. I guess Hand towels or dish towels what? What's this? Something in the package design yeah not sure about that one. Oh, it's all kind of leaking inside too to be honest i'm not sure of what we're going to do with like stuff like this i don't know if they're any good after being in a box for 20 years or this open bar is over 
pot holders or something. So these are all from their linen closet. Those are cute. Oh, these are nice. They're actually wood beads, I think. Those have to go. That one's kind of cool too. Somebody will want that for sure. I don't know about that. It says Lillian Vernon. Oh, mag magnifying mirror with sand. Here. Can you see in here? There's a medications. There's this. this is all shoe stuff. Shoe finish. Shoe cream. All season leather protection. Shoe cream. No jury in the bottom. Look at that. Oh, Pewter. Yep. You know what those were? What? They were little boxes and it came with the earrings and the necklace and the bracelet inside. Oh, okay. And the pen. Well, so we can just see just in case. Because the bathroom, we might have mentioned it actually in one of the other videos recently. This is one of the places where we could find a lot of jewelry. That so one box had the thick, giant sterling silver chain in the very bottom. I almost got thrown out. Oh, yeah, that's right. You found it under the flap. Nothing. Uh, nothing in there. Oh, I guess we were just talking about seeing in the bottom of the... Uh, box should we look, <laughs> look and see i mean i doubt they threw the jewelry in there loose after all this stuff was boxed but this but... is where we found the sterling yeah, silver one that, yeah well, let's act like we learned something right <laughs> that would have been funny if it was on there yeah there are quite often stuff under there but usually not something like something sterling silver neck silver necklace though okay next thing blender in the box it's quite old I'll test it out and see if it does anything. Somebody will still buy that. It's a bag again. It sounds like pots and pans. Come on, all cast iron. <laughs> oh, check this out. Do you see that right over the top? The old silverware set. I love these. These are cute. Yes. Yeah, these are nice. Well, this is retro diner. Yeah, this is the serving set too. Wow. Those are cute. These are just all stainless flatware, but these these do well. So we'll make some money on this stuff. Oh, here's more of these match that fork I got all excited about. Okay. Nice. More of that silverware drawer. Oh, check it out. There's the rest of the set. Yeah, alright. Those are cool. Not so much as much the steak knives of the spreader. These, those are cool. Awesome. That's a uh, that's a good thing right there. Oh, a few more pieces. Oh look at that. Classic 70 steak knife. Oh look at that. Wonder if the plugs in there for it. It is a Helmco Lacey. Waterproof hot cup. <laughs> Look at the, the the label on there. If you can see it, that's kind of that has to be quite old. Mikasa rose satin for fruits. Oh, these. Brand these are. These look familiar already. They're the classic. Yeah, Revere wear. Those are nice. Four more, four more fruit bowls. Old vintage hand mixer thing in there. There it is. I uh, don't see the beaters for it yet, though. We'll see. If we get those. Okay, more small stuff. Oh, look at that. Ooh. So are these silver plated or are actually silver? That's just Okay, that's just this is part. These go to that silverware set we already we saw a minute ago. So let's see. Have I have right here. Community plate. Oh, I mean, I was kind of guessing they probably were all plated, but so actually, cute. look at this one. Sterling silver. October third, thirteen. This is probably nineteen thirteen sterling silver. Yep, these those are all plated. That's pretty cool. I mean, these have some value too, for sure. Corningware. Some dozers. There were a couple of the uh, casserole dishes already. Oh, I think it's. Uh huh. Made in the U. 
USA. This is a jumbo, it's all 12, 12 and a half inches. That's a nice one. It's not smooth and milled inside and everything. Doesn't have a brand though. That'll be worth it, but that, we'll still get something decent money for that. Probably not online though. Pizza pan. Ovenware. Stoneware. Oh, the rooster. Cute. Yep. I don't see the brand anywhere though. We'll go alright. Flea market at least at minimum. Lids for something. And oh wait, what's this? Oh, it's a clip. That is cool. That could set aside probably. It was by our food. Oh. Found the found the for the blender, the mixers. What we have here? Electric skillet or with the plug, which is nice. Everybody's parent had that same one. Yep. And that's okay, there's this baking dish. Shape, but there actually there is a quite a pot and pan set here. There is the large stock pots, two more saucepans, the medium saucepans. So there's three of those, two large stock pots. This one's a very big. Wow, one. those are nice thick bottoms yeah. on there. Too. Well, this might be a different brand. At least it appears to be. It doesn't say Revereware. All the other ones said Revereware. Like this one does. But nonetheless, this is a very large pot and pan set. Let's make sure we didn't miss anything. That's empty. All right, gonna put all this away. Fork iron. Oh, well, let's find out what it is. Nice little mint. Oh my gosh! <laughs> what on earth? Throw a crocodile. Oh man, I was about to throw it back in the bag for a second there. Oh, what is that in there? This is oh yes, I can't quite read the first read. It says alligator by S and S maybe, but uh, made in Cuba. Hmm. I wonder what. It, <laughs> I wonder as far as selling these. Yeah. One thing I can say is I've never, never actually seen one of those before. I or, have. Oh, you have? On eBay. Oh, I meant in person. Oh. Yeah, I've never had had one of these in person. Oh, they're like buttons in there. Okay, so they're not going to fall off or anything. Okay, all right. That's nice. Ooh, we're not done with this box, so we're moving on. The buttons. What is this? Oh, I need my, my, my dumping that container. Wow. Okay, this one feels wet, so it's another bottle that looks like that, but it's a little wet, so I'm not going to... Uh, well, first of all, first easy one. Those sell, sell okay for us. Another set of keys for something. Oh, something minty. Yeah, one of these things. Oh, I bet Sodium you Sodium fluoride. J.E. Higgins. Oh, there's... I think it was a pharmacy around here. Iodine and glycerin. So it's like for sanitizing cuts or something. Yeah, man, Actually, your mom we... never put red eye or orange iodine on you when you were a kid. No, I remember, definitely remember that stuff. Yeah, I and mean, she definitely did. There was also mercurochrome. Do you remember that one? Yeah. Now this is something kind of crazy. Let me, oh, there it goes open. Wow. Oh, it's a photo album. An thought, old one. Yeah, it is very old. Oh, There's it a, was a music box too. What does that say? Push them clouds away. Oh, this must be another song. High fiddly high tie of A. So this latch. Oh, yeah. Is there a winder on the bottom? Uh, let's take a look. I was looking up here for it, but oh, right there, there sure is. Okay. That's pretty cool though. Yeah, that is pretty fantastic. Oh, look at that. Uh, oh, it's an ashtray. Yeah, that's uh, that's actually. Well, it's better when I see that it's an ashtray. Yeah, it's that's a really cool one. Oh, man, there's so many left. Yeah, I know. Uh, oh, that's a bummer. Should I yeah, go ahead and unwrap all of them first, pause and, then, and then we'll I'll come just, back and. I'm gonna unwrap this whole box. Right, we turn it back on because we're starting to come in with some really cool ones. There are these uh, vintage ones we just pulled out. Those are really neat. Some Coca-Cola ones. This is one of those little 
jelly jars. But I'm gonna go ahead. I was still unwrapping a couple more. This cool old wow. Star Wars one. Yeah. 1983. Return of the Jedi. Love the Ewoks. Look. Same thing. It was a. Uh, was it with the Wizard of Id comic strip? It was from Arby's, 1983. Wow, these are really cool. Another one from that comic strip. Same thing, 1983. Those were pretty cool. I think that was probably worth turning it back on for. I was almost done anyway. These were these were already unwrapped. Just some Rubbermaid cups. Oh, kind of a cool Halloween mug. It's nothing special, but. It's cute. Yeah. Did you already show them all the what the, kind of the stuff that was in it? Nothing major in for the most part in this. These were pretty, really, really good though. Oh, I think we're gonna have to put this away for you get another box. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my turn. Your turn. So I pulled this one, right? <laughs> yeah. I think that was it. Ready. Put <laughs> <laughs> ah! glasses down. Yo, I was supposed to take the top ones down for you, wasn't I? Oh, these all say Christmas, so oh, hopefully it's be, not. <laughs> no, they could be great or terrible, huh? These are little felt mice. How cute are those? Oh, yeah. Oh, those are cool. Those are super cute. Little angel. Ugh, heavy. Rudolph. Moss. I think these might all be... Vintage ornaments. Oh, Santa gnomes. Oh, those are pretty cool. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, nativity. Zamumu. Oh, those are cute. Oh, well, this it. feels like it's plastic, like it wasn't part of this. Oh, okay. These are ceramic. This is something. Um, that says something. I gotta get my uh, glasses. Yeah. Korea, handmade in Korea. These are yeah old looking. Those are very cool. Yeah, those I, those are good. We've sold quite a few of these older nativity scenes, and they actually sell for pretty good money. Yeah, this is a plastic one. Let's see what the how much is in the set, but oh, plastic. That's, okay. Too much to add it on. Oh, nice. I don't think, I don't know, I don't know that this one goes to it either. Yeah, maybe not. This has got the same sticker though. Okay. So does that one. Okay, so those are from the same set for sure. So, is this the whole set? Um, no, I think there should be at least a couple more probably. Oh. What is this, the angel? One of the kings. Wiseman. Or wine, so, Wiseman. There's ah! There's the cradle. That goes with a different set though. Oh, these go with this set. Oh, oh that's nice. B H is on the bottom. Oh, all the time. Oh darn, chips. Maybe hand painted Italy. Let's see. This one says Italy on the bottom. Nice. Oh, that one looks quite old too. So. Forever Christmas, Savannah, Georgia. Oh, wow. It's $3.25 way back. When? This one says the same. Made Italy. Italy again? Oh. We can match. Oh, those look kind of familiar. I don't think that one's marked. Those are all old. I think maybe last year we had a set really similar to this. Santa candles. Oh, there's a third. All right. Some more of these plastic that's gonna be a good size creatures or is this joseph yeah i was just gonna say that when you said where's joseph <clears throat> i was thinking that was an angel oh i'm sure it is i'm sure it's joseph well these all look like women to me but what do i know that's the way they characterized them at this time these are these are probably quite old that was the in hairstyle for men at the moment hmm. I'm, I'm making that up <laughs> This stuff. That must be a good grab bag wrapped up just like that. 
See? Huh. Toy outlet, oh. 69 cents. Wow. Oh, that was that an old candle, right? No, it's an ornament. Oh, okay. Oh, it looks like it's wax in there. 1978. Betsy Clark, 1980. That's the Hallmark, Betsy Clark. Schmid. Mr. Snowman with toothpicks. Lies. What's in here? Oh, Avon. The Littlest Angels. No, oh, could be exactly what it is. Well, I don't think this was ever opened. Oh. <laughs> What's the soap? I oh, remember wow. these. Hey, that does look Everybody familiar. had a basket sitting on the back of their toilet with these fancy soaps. Oh, is that soaps? where they went? Okay. <laughs> I know I've seen them. That must be where. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was the first time that was open. That soap smells strong. Oh, really? Oh, the, the fragrances definitely hold up, huh? Yes, so. Yvonne wasn't playing. Has laps? <laughs> okay. Old well, school yarn, that's for sure. Another bell. Oh, what is that? A bunch of popcorn in here. They're with... protecting that. It just says Jennifer on the bottom. I don't know. Huh. I think that's the only thing in here. Anything left in that box? Um, it's just random scraps and tidbits. I think so. Some more sheet music. Oh, I'll take the old sheet music. I'll keep all that together. Old school. That's what everybody used to do. <laughs> <laughs> and then you have dust in your hair, too. <laughs> <laughs> that was part of it. Oh. So we did get that whole giant locker emptied and cleaned out, too. Nice. Yeah. They probably yeah. see that earlier in the video, okay? Uh, no, before we got to this point, we were just emptying it out and looking at all the big stuff and everything in there. And then, oh, maybe now we could show them what it looked like empty. Oh, yeah. And how late we were there. Yeah, we were there late. <laughs> and the, the pile of garbage we had so far. Look at this. Here, I'll take the light out there. Okay. 10 by 25. Yeah, and it is 25. It didn't seem like it. I didn't think so in the beginning. You said But it. you can tell when you look from back here. Whew. We made that it was go. not an easy job. It's been swept and everything. And unfortunately, all oh, this is what's winding up in the landfill, but yeah, there's no other choice. Yeah, you know, that's not that bad for a locker this size. That is much true. Stuff. I thought it was going to be probably be uh, at least a full truck and a full trailer and maybe another full trailer. It's happened before for sure Because there's gonna be a there's gonna be a little bit more from the what we're doing now. Oh Another Mikasa Oh picture frame oh. These some of these flea markers are good. I'm gonna tell us Certain pinochle decks and something else were they worth good Quite money. A bit, yeah. yeah. Send away your points. Huh. Oh, half of the, looks like pictures. We weren't playing with a full deck, apparently. I found some of these in earlier. <clears throat> wow, that's an oldie. Huh. Oh. And a hobnail dish. Yeah. Is that one of those crumb to be catchers? Or is it? Or is this one for warming? No. It's either a crumb catcher <clears throat> or bed warmer. <laughs> or a replica, maybe, yeah. for decoration. This might have been quite a bit later, maybe. Yikes. Looks like it actually, maybe, actually is copper or something. Cards. cards. These are all old uh, discs, pictures. Oh, yeah, photo discs. Yeah, I think that's exactly what those are. That's a shame. Can't ever see what pictures are on there. Another ashtray. Another ashtray. This is the box of ashtrays. I guess. I guess our ashtray department is restocked. Leaves. <laughs> Says something. White sage. Oh. Two fifty. Ooh, this smells so good though. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll have to smell it. Oh, it does have a good. It does smell good. It smells like sage. Oh, did you? Are those some Beats headphones? <laughs> it's the original Beats. Oh, no, these have, these are, oh, these must be, 
<laughs> a newer model. They have a radio built in. Oh, yeah. I thought you knew it was a radio. I was kidding, actually, about the whole thing, but that's, that's kind of interesting. Oh, look at that. So what, Oh, it's a catalog for Hummel Goebel. Cat's back here playing on the uh, newspaper. Where is he? Oh, he's going to stop before I catch him. We found beaks. <laughs> There's a royal ink ashtray and another one. Oh, another. Another Mikasa. Looks like another photo frame. Oh, okay. Nice. Oops. Fortune telling playing cards. What the heck? It's always the weird stuff that does does sell or is a little easier out of more generic items. I guess that makes it not generic, I guess. That's weird. Directions. So you too could be a fortune teller with this handy dandy. Oh, little interesting. Book. Well, These are cool. Yeah, those are, I was, that's what I was just going to say. That's People nice. love weird stuff like this. Yeah, those seem to be. No matter where we sell that type of thing does well those are and those are nice and old and it's in the box yeah. okay we sell paperwork <gasps> oh wow we have there peanuts snoopy 1950 oh wait this could be the copyright of the artwork it does say copyright 1958 on it though oh they glued this a few times oh Oh, it has the Delta Holland on it again. This one made it. Delta Holland again. It does have a maker's mark, which is this right here. I don't really recognize that who that would be. Oh. We have just had, I don't know, Wheelock, Dresden, Germany. I had to look that up just recently for some reason. Who goes in here? Oh, the bottom's empty. I don't understand. Not a good place for a candle, <laughs> I don't think. Well, maybe we'll figure out in a minute. <clears throat> Vintage shelves. Oh, okay. We have there. Oh, that is neat looking. A little staircase moon shelf. That's pretty neat. Oh. That won't be hard to sell. Here's number three. That was that for that box. Okay, cool. Another box. Fragile planters. Okay. Whoa! What do you have here? This one's looking good. Look at that. Wow. All right. That is cool. Let's say KM Cold Air with expelled with a K. <laughs> What'd you have? Oh. That's cool too. I don't know if that's a rain thing or a hummingbird. Oh, okay. I was thinking of some kind of cool planter, maybe, or bud vase oh. or something. I don't know though. I guess it could be that too. We'll let the buyer use their imagination. Sunbeam. Oh, another old mixer. That one has the beater. Oh, wow. Look at that, that is old pretty cool. Hang in there. This is so heavy. Look at that handle. Wow. Look how heavy this is. Holy smokes. I get it's the scale like... just to weigh it because that is impressively, impressively heavy. Yeah. She's seen better days. Oh. Too bad. It's kind of yeah, cool. It is. What's that? Oh, just one of those. Wow. And look at this. Oh my Do goodness. Do you remember these? Yeah. I... Is it not turning? Oh man. It doesn't work anymore. The screen would flip. This is very cool. Yeah, that's pretty excellent. That we're plugging in to see if it short circuits the house fuse or if it works. Should we try that? <laughs> It'd be a good experiment to test the wiring in the house. Oh. There she goes.
stop it with my finger. Just stick it in there and see. <laughs> yeah. Get ahead of lettuce. You know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice. That's cool. Yeah, excellent. Oh, what's in there? Get into the fun section. The flippy ones. Oh, nice. People like these. Without a doubt. Plug it in again. Yeah, what the heck. Oh, so there's so light in here. Oh, yeah, the light's on for sure. I can see the light on in there. How did you? I don't remember. There it goes. Oh, I guess that's the clock. <laughs> nice. Yep, I felt it click. Oh, you were just setting the alarm? Yep. And where do you turn it on? With? Okay. Yeah, thank you. I was trying to think of the word for shut it off. Two of them. They had a dual set. Wow. I'm going to guess that they both work. Wait, what is that? And last but not least. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to show. What? <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. That is excellent. It is a really cool looking one, too, on top of it. Is this a, that's a, a Bakelite, probably. Yeah. So, let's get this cord off. But look. GE Model 412. I was just looking just in case there was a date, so before we have a chance to look it up and find out exactly when. It doesn't really say anything, but... Can we plug that one in? Yeah, what the heck? While I hold it in my hand. <laughs> wow, this is just so neat. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Look at the dial. Bang it on the top and say, hey. You know what? Do the tubes have to heat up? Yeah, that's probably exactly right. It definitely works. The leading carriers take the circumstances he should give. It's picking up aliens. Huh. That's cool. Yeah, amazing. I can stuff. actually feel like uh, electricity running through my hand or something holding it. Are you serious? <laughs> For what it feel? No, I was going to tell you, maybe you should set it down. <laughs> or, or please feel free to set it down at any time. Like it's just the vibration, I think. Yeah. Although well, your hair was standing straight up the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is uh, that whole box you have there. Possibly, well, maybe not the Winnie the Pooh toy, but it could be and broken. This thing. How much do you think that weighs? I don't know. I'm going to go get the scale. Okay, I guess we're going to weigh it. Does it say zero? No, it does. <laughs> it was almost five pounds. Four pounds, 14 ounces. Do you know how tired your arm would be? I guess it might press your clothes faster. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of weight. And build your biceps at the same time. Ooh. <laughs> Bonus. Make this one short oh. and sweet. Sure, that might be balls. easy too. Yeah, these are, oh, Krebs. Oh. These, um, what does that say? Victoria Collection. There's, okay, this one might be easy for us too. Well, because we've sold quite a bit of those. Yeah. They they're usually good for, for for two boxes, I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. So they're, they're, those are good for about 10 bucks a box for us right there. And there's, what, six or... I didn't count You're making me count them? Yeah, sorry. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. So that's... I don't know, that box is worth a good $70 pretty safely for us. That one was kind of an easy one. Sometimes things are a little harder to guess when we're not sure where we're going to sell them because we have sometimes have to move things faster or start getting cramped for space so we got to move a whole bunch of stuff that's christmas, pretty good. Lights. christmas lights i'm always i don't know maybe i'm too cautious about selling them. hallmark keepsake and to our collection sure really yeah we do do okay with those hallmark. though we all do we always sell a lot of those every year it's just take we don't get a ton for them, most of them. Another 10 bucks a piece. Oh, that one is uh Fieldcraft? These might be a little better yet. Wow. Whoops. Old. Yeah, that's a really the packaging's cool on those too. Okay, that's it. Yeah, another that's so another good box for us. This one on the top says 
Diamonds and gold. He does it? No. <laughs> Man. <laughs> you don't do that to me. You know I'm... You know I'm gullible. Kitchen and plastic. Same thing. Oh, okay. Look at that. Oh, that is nice. Rubber made again. Oh, somebody really wants these. They're pretty cool. Oh, more pans. Oh, probably. I didn't count the lid. I didn't count the lids in the other bucket to see. Oh, there are more pans. This one's a good one. I don't know about those two though. They're, it's the coating. They are regal wear. Yeah, I'm not sure. Those will be our right, other guys, maybe. Wow, is that a giant Tupperware bowl? Strainer to go with that. Oh, that's one of those cake things. Oh yeah. Should oh, that's have nice. Have a plate to go with it. Kind of out of room on this table. Okay, you want to show me what's in the box and the rest of it? Then we'll clear the table maybe. You want me to pick it up or you can just put the um, camera oh, in Yeah. It. Oh, Pyrex. Pyrex, Pyrex pie dish. This one's probably a clear. Another the clear also? Yep. Another clear Pyrex pie pan. More Revere, is it Revere wire again? That's all money. Grease splatter catcher. That's it for the box. That's it. Except for that little odd plastic stuff, it's a cup yeah. or whatever. Okay. Um. It's got wood handles. Steam this stuff. And I, I mean, I guess I'm not saying I vaguely remember these. Uh, I think it was a sugar and creamer, maybe. And this is this one. I think was definitely a creamer. This one may also have been like a little pour, or oh, maybe syrup or something. I. Well, they're is that all plastic or glass. All the little serving. Uh, oh, that's weird. I think it may be plastic. String. Oh, Ooh. pepper shaker. For that fault scrap set. Oh, look at that. Oh, the that's a cool top. jar. Made in Italy. That's nice. Weird. Yeah. That's glass on top. Huh. Well, that's pretty cool. Those look neat. You put my glasses on or can you read it? Uh, oh, Japan. Salt shaker, pepper shaker. Yeah. With the toothpick holder. Wow, that is cute. Look at that. Those are nice. I like those. Oh, that's broken. I don't know what's that. Oh. Never mind. Mustard jar. Yes, it is. Look at that. Nice. The glass. It's nice when it has all the all the pieces. Actually, it's, again, for us, probably flea market, I'm thinking, but. Oh, that's cool. A few of those. Oh, definitely syrup. More false craft set. Oh, there's going to be a, quite a few pieces in that. Oh, that's got to be old. Uh, oh, is that all heavy glass? Yeah. Oh, nice. That's where the numbers are raised. Nice. Another one? The salt? Oh, the salt. Okay. Oh, some old candles and a advertising mug. Interesting. Super weird. Oh, it's a golf bag. Oh! <laughs> Just old. Thing. Trying to figure out like, yeah, what no. is the purpose. Those. Serving dish. Or some, like, relish dish, maybe you could call them. There's the other one to that. Oh, the little 
A little glass, mm -hmm. classic salt and pepper. Another one cute. of that. And just a random one. You can put these on the flea market just like this. Oh yeah. That. Oh, that is, is neat. Cute. Oh, I like that. That matches that same brown Rubbermaid set. Yeah. Does it say anything on it? Oh, uh, it does have a maker's mark, but I don't think I can quite make out who it is. Another one of these. Oh, a bouncing mug. <laughs> Check it out. <laughs> Another look. Oh. oh. So cute. Oh, that is a neat, that's a neat dish. There she be. Oh, the salt. Oh, that's the. That is, these are really cute. Yeah, those are cool. That's a neat, a fun set there. It's actually the base is glass and the top is some sort of plastic. Matching golf bag cups. Oh. Oh, oil and vinegar. Looking or a little, uh. One of the two. A little dirty. Oily. Yeah. <laughs> this is a whole set of oh. golf bag cups. Oh, here's another one. Huh. It's always hard to say with stuff like that. I don't know. I guess now there's four of them. We're gonna, maybe we'll give them a shot before we'll put those out. Ooh. We didn't find the bottom yet. Oh, we have that somewhere. I know it. Wow. That's butter super dish. cool, too. Yeah, that's going to be good. The covered butter dishes are sometimes hard to come by. They do pretty well a lot of times. I have not looked that style up by Faultscraft to see how they sell or what they're worth, but wouldn't be surprised if that would be one of a little bit more valuable piece out of it. They are a lot of times. What do you have here? Ooh, oh, that... it's one of those. Oh. oh, half the lights are missing. Well, maybe they're laying in the box. Where we're going crazy for these yeah the, the green ones but this one's pretty too yeah maybe it'll be the blue and white one this year right Is that anything on it? no doesn't say anything anywhere Little. oh look at here a whole bag full <laughs> wow cool yeah you just oh it actually just takes the bulb in the bottom of course and this lights up like a light bright through the through the ceramic well, that's going to be a good item. Yeah. That's going to do very well. Excellent. So close. What? So close you can taste it? Yes. This lacquer was so much work. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. Especially coming off of illness. Yeah, we were so sick. Yeah, we. I thought I was getting quite a bit better. I don't know. You thought you did you feel okay? We didn't feel nearly as well as we thought we did when we started this thing. I was so sick the first day, I barely made it. I would say this was a, a we haven't it's been a while since we've done the locker this big, too. Over the winter, it seems like most of them have been a little smaller. Quirky twist instructions that's quirky. Oh, it's another one of those bottle openers, it's like a twist top bottle opener, just a advertising things the old company or something on it. oh my gosh those look cool oh wow that rating's real small oh i have to go get the more powerful glasses i have a pair this one says made in hong kong number 43 has a jd on it that's what this one says hong kong number 43 jd they're cute though they're yeah. like a shiny weird plastic yeah Set. Are they all playing an instrument? Yeah, every last one of them. It's cookie cutters. I have a feeling these figures Chip are going to be good. That's actually wire. Oh, is it? it is what it, it is. <laughs> oh, those are cool. Five more of those owl cups. Six. Are these? Like trivet type things. A cutting board. Oh, that one looks nice. Husband Cheshire. <laughs> Turn it. Oh, 
matter how often I throw those out, they, they just keep coming back. Yeah, that's stuck on there. Vintage That's utensils. an old one. Oh yeah. A little wire whip, potato masher, a couple ladles. Nothing, uh, Ice cream scoop. I don't think there's another spoon for that set. But yeah, I don't think there's anything. Was in my Baster. mom's kitchen. The same one. Yeah. I think I'm so sure these are still clean. Yeah. Sanitary. Should keep the toilet brush in with the uh, utensils. Is that what it is? Is a toilet brush? No, I don't know. I was kidding. I don't think so. It just looks like an old fashioned one, so. I couldn't help but say it. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. The, <laughs> the, you can pick that up every time I say something stupid. Your left arm's gonna get really strong. Ow! There's a, there's a, there's a bottle stopper. Uh, oh, like that. Are they fancy bar rats? Yep. <laughs> ow, ow, ow! And then a bunch of corn on the cob things. Those on there. Another chip clip. Wow, a plastic steamer basket. Yeah, it's a Hidden Valley Ranch. Oh. Wow. Tupperware. Oh, that's Shaker. nice. Shaker. It's a little top. Oh. So it take, cuts it where you don't get cut. Oh, okay. The top of the can. You know what I mean? Yeah, I just call him a can opener. Right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. I know you were explaining <laughs> what type That's of That's handy dandy. So. Yep. Nope. One of those wood handled, uh, what is it, like, uh, it looks smaller yet, even. It is actually the. I swear this stuff looks like, like the nicer stuff. What is this for? Uh, that's, I think one of those things you put on the pot edge when you're pouring liquid out of it, I believe. I, that's not something I would use, or probably, I don't know if we'd sell it either, because I don't think anybody would buy is it. Is this an old one? <clears throat> oh, it might be. How long has Pampered Chef been around? Um, probably since before around 2000, when, like, this, this stuff was wow, packed. Wow, that's a nice one. It is. Meant to, like, to carry the heat so the ice cream falls right out. And that break while you're scooping it? Yeah. Okay. That was all for that box. <laughs> this is the other member of our family. He doesn't get to come out to the storage units with us. <laughs> yeah, she couldn't resist. <laughs> he is, a, that's our cat dog. <laughs> he is our cat dog. He's the best cat in the whole wide world. Watch oh. cat. Oh, let's switch. Okay, all we're right. switched again. Yeah. So let's see, I just grab one. Feels kind of dirty too. Oh, more wrapped up stuff. Oh, oh, oh! It's an old. Actually, has the paper on it. Coffee cream, Twin Pines Farm Dairy Ink. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I didn't even say anything. I'll tell you what, though. Oh, that's cool. At least we have. If I don't break it. But we have, um, there's a match, large matching disc to that already. This locker has been as giant as it is, and we were just talking about how it, had, it was kind of a lot of work, but it's been absolutely amazing. There is going to be a lot of money's worth of stuff in here. By the time, even the, the lower end stuff that sells for like three bucks or something like that, there is just so much stuff. There are so many, but there are also invaluable things. There are, are so, that is cool. Is that a candle? Gel candle. Gel candle. Yeah, there you go. But yeah, just how many things there are. There are all that jewelry. Hope oh, that somebody's personalized mug. All the jewelry that was in there, and the, how we had talked about the uh, scrap value. But of course, like some of those vintage rings will sell for I met multiple times, multiple times of the uh, scrap value. But all that, that's just the expensive stuff. But there are so many items in here that are worth more than just a few dollars. Is that another one of those? Oh, it is. Whatever that plate was I read the other day. Oh, yeah. 
Can you still read? Maybe. <laughs> oh, the green I, I remember that. Oh, the Some designs. Kind of intermediate school. Okay. Another cranberry colored glass. Two of them. Something large, though. So. Are we gonna Ooh. do it again? This. Oh. Ooh, that's pretty. There's something inside, rattling around. Oh, more of those cranberry. More of these. There's, oh, it's like a whole set. there are at least three of them inside, so they've managed to get three, at least three of these glasses, maybe four uh, inside this picture. That's beautiful. That's I don't know nice. how we should safely get them out. It seems uh, dangerous. We'll get them out of there some way or another, I guess. That does seem dangerous. Like, right? That's when you get hurt trying to take them out. You gonna save the best one for last? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping. Uh, we got, we did I actually got that jewelry box last time. Uh, one of the viewers commented something about was about it, the, you know, like I was neat having that saving the best for last for once or something. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I, that's not exactly how he put it, but I think that literally is the first time we've ever saved the best box for last. It's not our fault. We don't go through them. We're, oh. We see the see it when you see it. The closest I have done was that locker we did on the freezing cold. Oh, there's the bottom of the butter dish. Yay! All right, that's cool. But it's uh, I. I shoved them around and felt one that tried to save a heavier one. I, I said it on the camera, of course, but. <clears throat> oh, these are some of the glasses that were in the other box. Oh, really? More of them snowflakes. Oh, this is our, another Arby's Christmas, Arby's Christmas collection. And they have things like that on them sometimes do help them. Is that a gold rim? No. From Arby's? Oh, maybe. Yeah, I know. It's something in here when I look down on it. It really looks gold from right here. I guess I could look around the sides of that glass and see if it says anything. Just in case now they don't. Those are cool though. I mean, they're not. Nice. So, do you read all the comments every time we get one on our. I do read them all. I love reading them. Actually, it's fun. Like, all of them, all the. Every, it's. There are a lot of very nice comments and interesting comments and I love hearing like reading the ones too like, even when people say like oh I had that when I was a kid or something or we used that those like somebody mentioned there they had the same suitcase set and I think I said something about that even too because we had some like that too <clears throat> want this but yeah it's it's fun but I don't know if you guys are like me I, I watch and I watch channels that I like and I sometimes I'm, I'm hesitant to comment even like it almost has to be important <clears throat> to, to actually comment but to, uh, on this channel it doesn't have to be impor important important <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't we love reading them <laughs> well that stack is adding up yeah I think that's it for this one so if you're in the need of some glasses and you're around the area you can come to our flea market oh yeah <laughs> how about like 20 for a dollar yeah she's probably not kidding either if you guys show up there especially like people we know and people the viewers too but yeah like yeah they, they go kind of cheap at that flea market to begin with but oh and we put all of our information in the description too i don't know if we've oh, ever yeah. mentioned that in the video but oh yeah Oh, actually, for the flea market, though, over the next few weeks, in the summer, we're usually there pretty nearly every weekend. But you could uh, you could ask us in the comments about our, about our schedules one way. Uh, I think you put an email in the... Uh, oh, the, yeah. Yeah, I think there's an email address there, too, in the, in the description somewhere. Should be. So maybe I'll unwrap these right here in this box real quick pull out the whole stack of whatever because there's a lot of smaller stuff like that what do you say okay have unwrapped uh no oh, i put a lot of your brow <laughs> yeah there, there were a lot of unwrapping they're all there. shiny yeah yeah it's getting it's actually warm in here probably could take the sweatshirt off Ooh, but, more yeah. to that beautiful set there was an awful lot in here i, I actually don't know if i unwrapped every you piece probably need something dark behind it so you can see it there it is so cute yeah those are nice there are quite a few of those now but uh, i got most of them unwrapped it's just a beer mug 
and just some sort garbage. of garbage. Yeah, okay. A couple more false graph. A little stack of these either saucers or side plates. They look like they would fit the mugs though. More of those. And are they coffee cups or something? No. Probably coffee. Those are cool shapes. Yeah. Buffalo China more to match that. Looks like a couple of cups to go to the mode. Nice. And then this one has a phrase on it. Friendship type of mug. Garbage. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Blue Mountain Arts by Papel. Papel. That's ringing the bell. For some reason, though, that's pretty neat. Kill the soup. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah. I'm just saying that rings a bell. It's not Red Bell, it's a Campbell Soup. I said, <laughs> oh, okay. Red Bell, is that a Michigan thing? Another one of those. Those are kind of cool. And then. I guess that, not. That is a cool cup, even though it's Red Lobster. I mean, I don't know if that, that would help or hurt, to be honest. I'm gonna put these away and then get to the last box. Okay. Woo! The last box. Yeah, I can't believe it. 10 oh. by 25 worth of mostly boxes. I mean, I know there were some big furniture yeah, in there, there was, but... but there were an awful lot of boxes. It was deceiving how many boxes that we've there have been in there. But we kind of knew that. that was one of the reasons we got it, of course. But yeah, it's been a lot. Okay. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm getting the last box. Oh, can't believe I'm so excited. Explosions, I almost... drama, yay, cheer clap. Yeah. Crowd clap, clap. That's Lord. weird. You know, it's probably because we we were we didn't feel well for so much of it. It was so hard to do. I would move all that heavy okay, furniture. Looking so. like we saved the good box for last. <laughs> we got to have a routine for our channel, don't we? <laughs> we got a gimmick. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's uh. Yeah. We can't tell people that. They won't watch till the end of the video. <laughs> we, can't, we can't have a slogan that says we saved the worst box for last every time. No, I'm just kidding. This one, there might be some interesting stuff in here, to be honest. Because I, I thought this was pretty cool that already. That's cool. But I just saw, oh, that's not interesting at all. Some old beat up others. This is pretty interesting. Uh, might not be anything valuable in there, but these little miscellaneous bags that see what well, well, they're candles nope. these, are, these are those flashback junk drawer oh, yeah. ones that are because this everything was put away so long ago hallmark coasters paper coasters shoe box though this is a hallmark kitchen mug whatever you do don't make me laugh so hard coffee comes out of my nose Oh, that's oh another tang Ooh, thing. Nice tang pitcher. That is excellent. Surprise. Baking cups. Oh. It looks like the old days. Looks like those. Oh, this looks like it's gonna go to something cool. It's a lid of some sort. Oh. I was just thinking about how I was being kind of careless unrolling that. <laughs> and of course, at least I didn't break it though. This is cool looking and it has a piece of some sort of jewelry right here. It's a pig with, with a coin money in it. coming out. Oh, yeah. What do you call a pig with a money sticking out of its back? I'm just kidding. It was a piggy bank, right? It wasn't a coin back. This, I found this. What was this corn thing? Did you look? Because this is super cute. Yeah, no, look I look at the paint on it. Is Let me see. Really nice. It seems nice. Oh, another George Good. It's made by George Good. Very good job he did. It is. Look, he's yeah, got a little beautiful. curl in his mouth, and there's one missing. Yeah, yeah, somebody will buy that. Oh. Another Japan. I think there's, I don't know if it's the same, but it's a lot like that other one. We found one like that a little bit. A little while ago, tonight. Oh, another hour. And we have the salt and pepper figures we found with this. Didn't we find like all... in the very first day we were in this locker. There's not a ton of that owl stuff. I thought there. Not this. Oh, that's slightly different. Look at oh, that. Look, is this the same thing? Yep. Yeah. George Good. It's like a flat paint, but it's kind of rough. 
Yeah. They're super nice looking. He reminds nice me of, um, oh my gosh, I can't think of it. I know him when I see him. Uh, your Joseph Originals a little bit. Well, no, there's no, a, the this... figures are more glossy, aren't they? Yeah. Never mind. I don't know which one I'm thinking of. These are cool. That's where that lid goes on. Oh, yeah. hope it has a little spot oh, here. This! Oh. Huh. There's another, supposed to be another mustard jar or something, maybe? Uh, that's cute. Does that match a turkey set? The salt and pepper? I don't know what a turkey and an owl would be doing hanging out together. Who knows? <laughs> I don't I mean I don't know a lot about birds, so I don't know if they're birds of a feather or not. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, another, another one, one of those. Yep, those are cute. That makes three of those now. Another jelly jar. Jelly jar. You I know you like those. Oh, and this one's not broken yeah. either. Oh, and it has a... Oh, that's going to be really hard to read. I may need some high-power magnifiers for that. Here. Look what I got. Oh. The cheap eye loop. Yeah, this is the one I actually I like. <laughs> Handcrafted. Oh, it's Odagiri Originals, Japan. They're so cool looking. Though. Yeah, they, they do really make some cool stuff. And we've definitely sold a, a, a number of stuff, things by them online for sure. Most of the things that we found haven't been real, real high dollar, but usually mm, more of those. that other set. More of that set. Twenty more. It's gonna take a while to match all this stuff back up. Oh, Ooh. that's cute. That is cool. That's nice. I'm probably making more of a big of a deal, more a bigger deal out of it than I probably should, but that's, I like that. It's like Parmesan cheese or something like that. I think I think the holes are a little too small for that. I think, but it sure it looks the same exact style. Like salt would come out of there awfully fast, though. Power trigger? Maybe. Oh, <clears throat> goes to your. You found the other one to this earlier. Yep. There's the vinegar. So the other one, vinegar. Oh, we almost made it. Another uh, corneware. Another one of these. There's quite a few. I'm going to put this somewhere safe because we have a whole bunch of that mission set. That must be that's the Arby's one, right? Yep, another Arby's. These are all things that people do buy the heck out of. Wow, there's so many of those. Yeah. That's... You know everybody making those, uh, charcuterie? The, oh, the charcuterie boards and stuff? Yeah, like, what they, they like the little containers for like their pickles and olives and stuff. Oh, okay. So that it These... doesn't soak the cheese. I thought for sure you were going to say creme brulee. <laughs> oh, is that? I don't know. They might be a little big for that, to be honest, for a single portion. But yeah, they said these are, I think, are oven saving and everything. Ah, Very nice. We did it. High five. High five. We just. High five went. replay. Okay. Slow motion. High wah, wah, five. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this locker was more of a challenge than we thought, though, that's for sure. But it has been great, though. And, uh, well, I hope you guys liked the video and, uh, if, uh, we yeah. promise the next one will be a new locker. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it has to be. Thank goodness. But we crammed it all in the last bit into this last one. But uh, thanks for watching. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. And we'll see you soon. Bye.